Hello everyone, this is Donna and today I would like to um, share with you um, a mini which I'll be making from this tag insert. I did a tutorial before and um, I thought I would just go over the tutorial again because um, I would be needing two of these inserts to make the mini. Um, when I'm you know, um, making this mini, I am even considering um, adding three of these. So I'm just going to sort of go along and see how um, thick I want the mini to be. So um, as for the insert, what you do is you take a piece of cardstock and um, I've used this sort of cardstock coordinations and um, I am going to score it at six inches and then that will be the um, middle and then I'm going to score it at eight inches make sure that it's um, well aligned before you score and then I'm going to score it at four inches. Um, there's some construction going on outside my window and uh, I do apologize for the horrible noise. Um, it's driving me mad, unfortunately. I can't do anything about it and I've spoken to the local authorities and um, everything else and my house is actually vibrating while they are doing some of the work and um, you know sometimes these big construction companies they just don't give a damn about people living in the area they just want their money don't they so now I have um, folded it along the middle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, to the fold line at the um, two points I've scored. So I'm going to change the um, blade. So the first score line is at eight inches. This blade is not very sharp, but I'm going to still use it. And then the next um, line that you cut is along the four inch line. Okay, right to the middle. Once that's done, it should look like this. And um, the fold at the first line, you need to fold um, back at, uh, you're going to make a pocket here, so um, you fold back at one and a half inches. And this I sort of do it by hand, come find my ruler, so I'm just going to guesstimate. So, roughly about there, and then back to my so I'm going to try and score this as accurately as I can. Okay, so there you go. And uh, it should look like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of reinforce the folds. Yes. And over there as well. And I'm going to play along uh, with the folds and see which way is best to um, uh, um, I'm going to sort of stick it back to back here. Okay, and then um, 
make the mini. You know, you when you do that, you just have to make sure that it folds um, properly. There you go. So I'll have a fold po folded pocket there, and uh, then it's going to go on. Okay. It will open up there. So um, I'm going to do the the gluing there first, and um, need to get my glue out. And of course, this glue would probably. Um, I was a pessimist <laughs> so you glue the edges you know I prefer using glue for this sort of work because to a, to a glue tape because um, with the tape you know it uses up more space and then you do not have much room for the tag so I would um, now glue both the pockets back to back like that okay give it a bit of a squeeze and let's see how it's going to open up so here, what I'm I'm not going to stick it down until I have. Um, sorry, I'm off the frame. I'm not going to stick it down until um, I have the um, designer paper attached here, and then I'll stick this back, so that you know the designer. It's easier to add the designer paper before it's stuck down, and then of course um, even here I'll probably add the designer paper a bit longer and then glue the sides down so that I can add a tag. So with that, um, I'm going to go on and add the designer paper because that is quite basic and I'm quite sure most of you know how to do that and then I'll get back to you. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is how the um, mini insert turned out and um, I've used the Tatter Time uh, paper collection by Die Cut for the Wheel. And um, it's a beautiful um, line, in case you haven't seen my previous minis. Can't seem to get enough of this paper line. And um, the paper is very, very decorative. And you don't need to do much um, in terms of embellishments because the paper really speaks for itself. So what I've done is I've used a ribbon for closure, a piece of ribbon for closure. And um, we'll show you what it looks inside. So it opens up and you get this lovely uh, two-page spread and um, great for the four by, four by six um, photos. Then it flips down and I've got a tag, um, in um, a sort of a pocket for tags. And uh, these little tags are very similar to the Tim Holzer dash tickets and I've cut out from the collection and this flips over and you know a lovely spot here for either journaling or pictures and um, you could also glue this down and add a tag inside but I decided to sort of have this sort of uh, as a flap and uh, so then uh, different ways of opening this. You have another two-page spread at the top and uh, here you have two of these lovely embossed pages very beautifully decorated and more of the same here and um, this is where I get lost sometimes. I've shown you this bit I 
think. So you can have a spread with different sorts of papers at once. And uh, here is another tag, um, sort of a flap pocket with the two tags inside here. And I've edged it with Martha Stewart punch. And um, here it opens up like that. So um, it folds like that. And uh, you know, when you make this um, kind of uh, insert or a little mini album, you need to be careful about what sort of paper you use because um, you know, you need to get the paper in the same direction. But because of this sort of, this paper, it really didn't matter because, you know, you, it could work either way. So I'm re really pleased with the way this turned out. And I'm going to be making a few of these and um, I will be speaking to you guys again soon about what I'm going to do with these um, mini album or mini inserts. So um, watch the space. Bye for now.